Well, I've got to hold this and I'm pretending to hold that. You've got to hold that, yeah. And talk into it for upwards of three hours. And you told me that would, would be quite easy. Yeah. So, what, what, the anarchy of inanimate objects was a, a topic that we, yeah. that was thrown out there to discuss. Yeah. Well, you see, the thing is, is I can cope with most most things, but you kind of get those you get those days or those mornings, especially like when you're trying to be creative. And, and the, the worst thing, you know, like kind of the, the room 101 thing or whatever it is, the worst thing for me is like when inanimate objects just don't do what you ask them to do, or like you knock or you knock like a glass over but you didn't really knock it over it's just it's just the the object itself so it's that thing actually you're really pissed off with yourself but, it, yeah. but it's just transference of of angst and badness where, where does that where does that angst come from for you um but it used to come from drinking way too much coffee i think that I, i'm not i'm i've realized that if i if i if i don't drink a lot of coffee or any other um, upward stimulants and actually I'm quite laid back and quite happy but for a long time I kind of just felt that that was I think it's I think it's from it, it stems back to, to fighting the punk wars mm. really and and being laid back equates to being a hippie mm. and just sitting there you know fucking smoking joysticks or whatever they did you know, and 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 I think that so, and, and I think ever since then, I've, I've always kind of felt that kind of being laid back and being sort of a bit happy, like hey, everything's all right, man. You know, just seems to be wrong when you look around. So, so I kind of I seem to have spent too many years doing too many things, taking too many things, or you know, which might just be coffee or red meat, you know. But you know, the, the, the wanting to be angry and wanting to be a bit of angst, you know. Mm -hmm. Anger is an energy and all that stuff, or, or truth is born of arguments. Mm. And I think it is, but I think that, the, you know... So I think that's where the, that's where the angst is. It, it, it's, almost, it's almost kind of, you know, if I start to feel a bit too happy... I, I, there's that sense as well that, you know... Um, you know, that, that, that great art never comes out... You know, I'm, I'm talking about you know, the stuff that I do as being great art, obviously. But, um, of course. <laughs> But um, but you know you never you you never get great sort of to me that you never really get great music or great art as a result of someone being particularly happy. It usually comes of from somewhere where people are you know are trying to work through something or deal with something you know and, and things like that you know and just sort of you know sort of fucking happy land people always sort of seem to be just like. You know, just blissfully away with the fairies and things, and so, so I think, I think, you know, as I said, I'm obviously I've I've got ginger hair, so I'm quite angry, and uh, and, and going back in into the mists of time, my 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 my, my sort of forebears are, are are either sort of Scottish or Irish, so angry. Uh, but I, and, 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 and for a long time, I, I feel quite comfortable being pissed off with things. And I, and, and I remember that a, a lad that used to work for me, you know, he was, he was younger, which is quite easy to be these days. And he, um, and he, and he just used to say, like, why? And he goes, well, I don't get that punk thing. Why, why are you so angry all the time? And I was like, well, look around you. Why the fuck aren't you angry? You know, he's like, mm. he's probably voting Tory now or something. <laughs> Cunt. <laughs> Just personal opinion. Was so. Was there a kind of watershed for you with you know? Cause there's a spike in it. I, I, we've only met once before, really briefly. Mm. But I had a sense of a, a spikiness, and then the things that I, I see you post on by Twitter, there's a spikiness there. Is this the? Is this the? the sort of the intense kind of therapy bit. Oh no, he said no, well, that. That's coming later. No, we, we, that's coming later. That. Fantastic. I'm well, we sat naked in a, in, a, in a tray of sand over there in about four hours' time, <laughs> hugging each other and crying. Well, that is in the contract. <laughs> um, 
I'm it wasn't actually a question there, it was just a... Oh, okay. Yeah. I was trying but to think of an answer, but all I could think was clean pants. But I, <laughs> um, no, I, I, th I, think, I think that it's probably, although I, you know... I, I just think you get more done if you... If, you, if, you're, if there's a positive antiness, mm. you know, if you're not happy the way the things, if you're happy with the way things are, and let's just say, let's just say things were okay, mm. you know, with the economy and with, you know, uh, are things ever okay? I mean, you, you know, think back, I'm thinking back to the punk wars mm. and what's come since, nothing seems to have been that okay. <laughs> Again, that's kind of personal. No, no. I think. Angst. I, see, I think you know. Without wanting to sort of, I mean, without breaking into some like D ream kind of it, but things could always be better, couldn't they? <laughs> but I, I, I think that I, I, I do think that there's a, there's an energy from just being like pissed off, but pissed off with things in a way that you want to make a change. Mm. So. I think there was a sort of spike in us. I didn't, you know, I, I don't know, maybe, it was, maybe I haven't really thought about it, you know, in, in great depth, that maybe a lot of it really does come back to that whole sort of, like, time of sort of growing up sort of with punk things or hippie things, you know, and just mm. really... I think it, it's, it's even the same in sort of people that know me. It's just like, I, you know, I've, I, never really, I never really got into, you know, smoking jazz cigarettes or anything like that. The police still here. Um, way around the corner. They? Not real policemen, <laughs> people dressed as... That's why they were in here, actually. They, they came in, in too early. They, they came in looking for somebody who was wearing a police uniform. <laughs> that's what you're all paid for. <laughs> yeah, so, but, you know, I... Any, anything, anything that kind of dulls you down or, or you know, you know, trips you out or anything. I, I kind of, I kind of want to engage with with. And this sounds really sort of wanky, but I, I kind of, I want to engage with life and and sort of make a difference. Mm. You know, and, and I think you know when people say when we you know when especially you know you, you get older, those kind of conversations about oh what would you have on your gravestone, what will you have on your gravestone? We're going to get it made for you. Have you designed it? Your gravestone? Yeah, it's all in Helvetica. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, but it's, uh, but you know, it's that sense that kind of I'd like, you know, I'd like to have made a difference, and I feel lucky that that kind of, you know, even if someone comes up and says, oh, you know, I was a big Designers Republic fan, you know, and and, and you know, uh, that's why I became a designer. I mean, that, it, it can be that, and it doesn't have mm. to be. I'd like it to be that, you know, I, I taught the world to sing and lived in perfect harmony. But you know, that's as as, as I get older, I can't really be asked. But um, I could have done it. Could have been a contender, but but the but the point is there's time, yeah, mate. There is you time, know, I mean, yeah, like yeah. What what? How old are you, mate? Well, I, I'm I'm 53, and in my in my head, I've always like thought that people that the that the age that you live to is 75, and if you die before that, yeah, then that's bad. And if you live if you live after that, then it just seems a bit tedious. Yeah, but there's that thing in there. I, I remember, so I'm three years younger than you, and I remember when my dad was 40. And he, that was middle age, and that's quite a few years. So he was yeah. seventy a few weeks ago, and it was from he was forty at a time when forty was middle aged, and middle aged is not forty now. It's middle aged is sixty five and upwards. Is it? Shit, I thought I was middle aged. <laughs> no, no, mate, no. You've still got work to do then. You're still kind of like a teenager in. But so that energy that still got it, yeah. <laughs> that energy that you have, because you you, see, you seem super prolific in in your output and the stuff that you do and and being energised. I think it's. I think I think rather than than being some like super being obviously, but rather than being prolific, that it's more it's more like a like low boredom threshold. I, I don't I don't really. The, 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 the problem that I've got, one of the problems that I'm prepared to admit to, is is that I, I, I think really quickly. I can go into a client meeting, and it's you know it's not like I'm I'm not, well, I am bragging, but I'm not bragging, you know, as such. It's just something that that's the way that, that my brain is wired, mm. so I can think really quickly. But 
because but I just I do quite slowly you know so so, so it's, you know, if you've got people that you know you get on with working with you that can take your ideas and run with them and do something else then you can you can get a lot of work out you know mm. because I don't I, 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 I and that's why I prefer to work with people than, than say you know when DR went bust you know the, the option of going on your own mm. is, is that is that I'd get really frustrated because I can think quicker than I can do. So you, you'd be constantly kind of, you know, half finishing jobs. And, mm. and the trouble is, is that as soon as somebody rings up and, with a with a new project to do, it's a bit like a you know a, a kid with a new toy. It's a bit like the others just kind of, and there's no clients in tonight, are they? Former, you just, cl you just, former clients. <laughs> former clients. But you know, mm. but there's that there's there's that sort of sense. I I I don't I don't have a. I'm not a complete finisher in marketing terms or whatever. And I don't really have a pride in, in particularly, or, or not a sense of pride, a satisfaction in finishing a job. Mm. I, only, I only get a thrill out of starting one mm. because that's when the ideas are there. So if I thought, I guess if I thought at the same pace that I did, then that wouldn't be a problem. But, you know, I'm just kind of like cranking up all the ideas. Mm. And, I think that, and I think the point is, is that if that's, if that's how you think, it becomes increasingly easy to always think like that. So I, was, um, I did a, a sort of a, a joint uh, conference, a bit like this, but in, in, in Tokyo with Carl Hyde, we happened to be doing the same sort of festival thing, and they said, you know, anyway, so we did that. And, um, and, and you know, so somebody was sort of talking about how, how bizarre his lyrics are. You know, and the fact is, is that you know, that, uh, this conversation was that they aren't really that bizarre. It's just that's the way that his mind works. So if you walk around and if your head is, is tuned, and programmed into like, listing out for little snippets of conversations or things that you hear, and then you put those all into some lyrics, it's not that you've you're some great surrealist that's putting all these things. It's just literally, it's just reportage of what you've heard. Mm. And there's some editing. Obviously, you choose the bits that you use. And that's, that's similar to what I do as a, as a designer. You know, it's, it's always, you know, you, you, it's not that you're always working as in like, you know, what a great guy I am. I'm always working on that. It's just that you can't stop. And your brain is tuned to that, you know, like, you can't help but just walk around and go like, that kerning's wrong. That, those colours, why didn't you do this? And it, it just, it's, it's an affliction that, that I have that to bear exhausting. for you. Hmm? That sounds exhausting. It is exhausting. That's why I'm a bit spiky. <laughs> Yeah, you got it there, you see, you got it out of oh, me in the yeah, end, you did that, yeah. That's it, right, yeah, put some music on. <laughs> Full circle. Yeah, absolutely. You know, how much of that thinking that, you know, the, the way that your mind works... She, you arrived in the North to do philosophy, and you never trained as a... As far as I'm aware, you never trained as a designer. How much of that... What's that? What was that? What's that process? How did that? You know, how did that happen? Philosophy um, to design. Yeah, but it, but it, it's not like, you know, you look down. I mean, nowadays with a with a, with people having to you know don't start on about education, but people having to pay for education yeah. things. Um, fucking Tories. Um, but uh, anyway, sorry. Um, those 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 prints are for sale, by the way. <laughs> 